Beer before liquor, never been sicker. But what about Pfizer before Moderna? Will that do the same? At the start of the pandemic, the plan was always for people to get two shots of the same vaccine or one shot if it was a single shot dose. But that's not really how things worked out. Months into the vaccine rollout, a number of countries have injected people with two different shots. Why is that? In March, rare blood clots associated with the AstraZeneca vaccine triggered many countries, mostly those in Europe, to pause the vaccine's use. So when people were due for a second shot, they didn't get another Astra jab. This affected a lot of people, from the cafe owner down the street to German Chancellor Angela Merkel, who first got an Astra shot and then a Moderna one. Is that okay? Well, here's what we know. Some vaccines like Pfizer and Moderna use the same type of technology called mRNA. Does that mean it's okay for them to mix and match? Here's what my colleague Todd Gillespie found in his reporting. Having a Pfizer shot followed by a Moderna shot or vice versa is pretty much the same as having two of one of those vaccines, as far as we understand it at the moment. They're both mRNA vaccines, which means that their base level technology is kind of the same. Uh, the real potential for side effects, but also um, outsized immune response, as some people are predicting, comes from when you mix two different types of vaccine technologies. So for instance, starting with a J&J &J shot or an AstraZeneca shot, which are viral vector vaccines, and following them up with an mRNA vaccine like Pfizer or Moderna. Mixing vaccines that use different designs could activate the immune system in different ways. This is called heterologous prime boosting. Here's how the combos stack up. Among combinations tested in the University of Oxford's COMCOV trial, the two-dose course of the Pfizer vaccine produced the highest level of antibodies, which fight the virus directly. People who've had an Astra shot, followed by a Pfizer one, had the strongest level of T cells, which stimulate antibody production and help destroy virus-infected cells. A small trial in Germany found that mixing Astra and Pfizer vaccines could also trigger neutralizing antibodies at levels almost four times higher than two Pfizer shots. A Spanish study also found that the same combination made neutralizing antibodies climb sevenfold compared to two Astra shots. What hasn't been determined yet is what combination creates the longest and strongest protection against variants. The thing is, there is precedence to vaccine mixing. We've done it in Ebola and Rwanda, and it's been tested in clinical trials for other diseases like HIV and hepatitis. But when it comes to COVID vaccines, there's a lack of those large clinical trials. Here's infectious disease epidemiologist Ben Cowling on what this could mean. I think it's a lot of potential, but we haven't tested it. So I, I think it's a missed opportunity because when BioNTech was made, the, the developers just look at BioNTech plus BioNTech. When Sinovac's made, the developers look at Sinovac plus Sinovac. Nobody's really yet looked at combining them in Hong Kong or in other parts of the world mm. with AstraZeneca, with other vaccines. I think immunologically there could be advantages, but we can't recommend it until it's been tested. Right. So I, I'm not very keen on the idea in Thailand where they said Sinovac plus AstraZeneca. That hasn't really been tested in clinical trials. So we think it should work, but I think it needs to be tested first. There's also some evidence that mixing vaccines could cause some worse side effects. According to preliminary data from the Oxford ComCom study, 30 to 40% of those who received mixed shots reported fevers after a second dose, compared to 10 to 20% of those who had two doses of the same vaccine. However, researchers did say that the fevers didn't last long and they had no other safety concerns. The Spanish study found mild side effects similar to those seen in standard shots. But the US CDC has warned against mixing vaccines, saying the safety and efficacy of a mixed product series have not been evaluated. So what's the verdict? What we know is that there's one major advantage to mixing vaccines. In countries where vaccines are scarce, knowing people can safely and effectively mix them can help overcome shortages and allow more people to get fully vaxxed. And if researchers can find a super vaccine cocktail combo, it could boost immunity for longer and protect against COVID and its variants more effectively and reliably. That's the hot take. Thanks for watching.